Grace Odwar, Program Director for SOS Children Villages Kisumu. Uh, SOS was founded in 1949 by uh, Herman Miner during the Second World War as he was supporting the vulnerable, particularly children and women. And that is what has uh, grown into SOS Children Villages uh, Kenya. In Kenya, we have uh, five program areas. That is uh, Kisumu, uh, Eldoret, uh, Mombasa, Nairobi, and Meru. And uh, we also have two standalone programs uh, in Suba and Busia. Uh, NCBA um, started working with SOS Kenya in 2012. And since then, they've consistently supported us financially, uh, uh, provided material support, and also they've been uh, supporting us morally. So financially, their funds uh, are being used to ensure that children access education. We pay for proper medical care for the children. We also ensure that the children access uh, uh, clothing and food. Additionally, uh, we have programs that by virtue of being a charitable children institution, we have to run uh, the, ch uh, I mean the, the, the programs, given that uh, the children as they grow, you know, uh, need to be taken through life skills. They need to be taken through uh, sexual reproductive health, age-appropriate sexual reproductive health, counseling, and we also use the monies to ensure that uh, the children are supported, especially the children who have lost parental care. When they come to us, you find that they have various challenges. So occasionally we have to present these issues and they advance to the court level. So we use the monies also to pay minimal, that is the cases that arise, we use the monies to pay uh, our legal uh, representatives. Um, in terms of um, the moral support, their presence, you know, when they come to visit, their engagement with the children, the stories, success stories of the staff from uh, NCBA uh, has added value to the lives of children in House 10. Because, uh, you know, some of the staff also present the challenges and uh, the children in house, uh, house 10, sorry, are able to resonate. And that is encouraging. It increases their self-esteem and it also pushes them to work hard. Uh, children in House 10 have worked hard and uh, as we speak, we have four uh, in uh, university and technical schools. Uh, four are in secondary schools and then we have one currently doing a primary school. And uh, some of uh, the children's achievement that we are very proud of, we have one of our children from House 10 is currently pursuing um, a dental degree in the University of Nairobi. So to us, making a positive difference in the lives of the children and the fact that it's not only the, the financial contribution, their presence and the, that morale is a plus and it's really, uh, you know, given the children a big push. So the children uh, know the NCBA staff at a personal level where they share much more and uh, the, the, the sharing is based on uh, career guidance, the sharing is based on uh, life experience and that has encouraged the children to, you know, also work hard. And that uh, you can see uh, when the children are, quite a number of them are proceeding to higher institutions of learning. It may not be formal, but that informal uh, engagement has really, uh, you know, given a push to the children to uh, move forward in terms of education and career advice. Uh, key in our youth empowerment uh, uh, portfolio is uh, to ensure that the youths are self-reliant and that is why we are very keen on their education not necessarily university we also ensure that you know for those who are not able to make it to the university they pursue other options in terms of uh, the technical schools and uh, we provide uh, any other support just to ensure that the child has the um, has some uh, uh, form of uh, self-reliance activities. So once they are self-reliance, then uh, we know that as we release them uh, to now uh, face the world, 
they can earn a living, a decent living. They can have their families and take care of themselves. And they are also allowed to, you know, come back uh, to their family uh, house in SOS and uh, engage. Where possible, we'll also appreciate that they are able to support those children that are coming up. So for us, it's uh, basically about uh, self-reliance. It's about uh, earning a, a decent living. It's about uh, having uh, um, youths that are morally upright. And uh, when, uh, you know, that has been achieved, then uh, we are very proud co-workers.